All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and I just finished putting together this guy right here. This is the replacement to this guy, the Wildebeest, we used to call it. Uh, this is a pretty neat little upper. This is a 12 and a half inch barrel, and this has a hollow sun, and they sent this thing to me, and this is the HE515GTC-GR. Uh, really nice little uh, optic, and it's uh, ne it never made it to market. But in any case, uh, this thing I've still, we're going to kind of decommission this thing. As you can see, uh, the lasers are gone off of it, the lights are gone off of it, and uh, it is going to be put, might be put in the trunk of the car just for travel purposes. But let's talk about this thing right here. We talked recently about going with a 16 inch barrel, uh, 14 and a half inch barrel, pin and weld it. And I gotta be perfectly honest with you, everything I shoot, basically in the competition world, is a 16 inch barrel and nothing matches up with the, uh, better with the 77 grain uh, and, the, and the reticles that I use uh, than these guys right here, the 77 grain, boat tail hollow point. There was a couple things that I wanted to do. Uh, we, one, we wanted to identify what we're gonna be doing with this rifle. This thing's going in the bag, okay? And the nice thing is, is you've got a 16 inch barrel which you're going to get the muzzle velocity you need to match up with this Griffin reticle from the guys over there at Primary Arms. But also, I went ahead and took the LWRC right here, and now we got a folder, and it's a 16 inch rifle that is just here, okay? Uh, we're still within that 26 inch range overall. We're good there. And this is just a nice little package. Uh, you can extend this thing out as far as you want. I kind of like to be right about there. Uh, but what do we did? This is a travel rifle. We wanted to be kind of a do everything uh, bucket list, okay? And when you do that, you kind of lose sight of if you got to put a sling on this thing. And also, there's QD attachment points all over this bad boy. If you got to put a sling on this thing and haul it around, or even carry it, hold it up, put it like this, hold it for any length of time. Um, reach whatever you're supposed to be reaching with okay boom uh you're gonna have a little bit of weight especially when you've got a side optic right here 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 go and you know if shit really hits the fan you need to pull this thing off i changed out the scope mount for this guy with the uh, american defense which is detachable so if i had to go with backup iron sights it's also got the ultra dindies i'll do a video specifically on those things they are magical um placement placement was huge uh just because you i've got you know first of all stock uh changed out the safety to a uh what do you call those guys strike oh god i can't remember the damn things uh, yeah whatever um and then i realized i had the uh what is that the airborne guy from geisley uh, on this upper uh we're using the faction but the the whole strategy is the upper and the placement uh, specifically to where you wanted your press pad here for your laser. Uh, you, I tried to put the uh, the flip up iron sights in front of the laser, but it was catching part of the laser, so I had to move it to the rear. Not a big deal. Then you had to figure out uh, how much room you needed for you to put the cable in, where you wanted this placement, how far back I wanted to put the flashlight so I can effectively hold it and operate, do everything I need to do from the fingers here. Um, then we had where do you want to put the uh, 45 degree angled optic here? This is really, I love this thing. This is the ACSS Vulcan. It has the circle with the chevron in it. Fast, fast, fast. I don't know, you know, you can zero down and bring this down to one power. So is this really necessary? I don't know if you really want to be quick. Competition world, we use these things. Um, running, I can't remember the name of the trigger, but it's about a three pound pull on this thing. It's really cool. So what we have here is now, a heavy rifle. <laughs> I built a rifle for a friend of mine. We called it the kitchen sink. And this thing is the full on bathtub. I kid you not. Um, what I'm going to do now, because it's really interesting, weight is a factor. It's not a competition rifle. We're not filling it up with carbon fiber stuff. I want to be able to beat people with this thing if I have to. This is a zombie world. But I will tell you this. Uh, also, you know, it's interesting, but the rear iron sight right here has an adjustable dial on it and the problem was i had it too far to the rear hold on let me go ahead and bring it around i had it too far to the rear and it was getting in the way of my fingers when i would run the charging handle run it with my left hand placement 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 wait 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 
Those are all ideal things that we need to think about, not just, you know, can we put it in a, a bag and bring it in to our hotel room and our little cart that we use. So let's do this. I'm going to pull this off. Let's go ahead and pull the scale off behind me and see what this bad boy weighs. Uh, I'm thinking 10 plus, at least, at a minimum. It's going to be crazy. Let's do it real quick. Stand by. All right, so we're level. We're on a hard surface. She keeps jumping. Nine pounds, two ounces. Is that bad? Well, everything in the kitchen sink. I've got the uh, Primary Arms PLX with the uh, Griffin reticle in there. I love that because I'm accustomed to using those reticles. I'm accustomed to setting those up with 77 grain and going to town with those. You know what I'm saying? And you know what's interesting? Because I am running the Zenitco uh, laser system, infrared, and as well as green laser on this thing. It is amazing. Uh, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not parking it behind the uh, red, the iron sights. I'm actually, now I have the ability to change the batteries without having to remove the damn uh, the optic itself or the iron sights. Pretty cool. I got to get some little zip ties. I got some Ranger bands in here. Uh, but other than that, man, look at that bad boy. And when you do it all, when it's all said and done, you know, that's it. That's your little travel package. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me go get my little uh, my case because i got to give uh, the guys over there uh, who make those things. All right, so we're sitting here. <laughs> this is it right here, man. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, under 10 pounds. Not bad with all the accessories and everything. So what I liked is this guy right here. This, this is a bag by the guys over there at Lynx Defense. This is what I've used for my travel. Uh, for a long, long time. The cool thing is, is you've got a nice pocket up here. This thing will fit four magazines all the way across. You don't even know they're there. Uh, but the cool thing is, let me show you. This, I got one of those little Walmart carts. That I go in and out of hotel rooms. and I got another apartment up there on the KB32 office north. And what I like about this is that I could take the Wildebeest when it was there and put it in here. So now, here's the deal. Let's see if it fits. Huh. Just barely. Just barely. Let's see here. Hmm. So, if we can, we'll zip it up. Let's see. That was the goal here. <laughs> I don't want to stretch those seams too far. But I'm glad you guys are here to share this with me because <laughs> Um, next thing you know, they'll go ahead and, uh, you know what, the damn thing don't fit. That's crazy. Uh, hmm. Interesting. But, we take it like that, and she's golden. You always want to put your optic towards the top, okay? So there you go. Let's see if that looks stupid. Oh, these things are handmade right here in the States, uh, North Carolina. And uh, yes, there you go. So I'm able to take my full size rifle and put it in this guy right here and it fits perfectly. So there you go. Um, which is making me wonder because I had a regular lower on this thing. Huh, maybe if I put it in an angle, nope. It's not going to fit. All right, weird. Okay, well, guys, that's it. Uh, I'm going to still play around with this thing. I might put another lower on it real quickly just to see. I don't know. I don't have an extra lower sitting out here. Huh. Uh, well, we'll get back to you. But uh, QD attachments here, here, here. Uh, this thing is a kitchen sink and, and then some. With a, uh, also, it's got a, uh, a disposal on it. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is just a little fun hanging out and uh, have a, oh, 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 oh. Uh, all right, so <laughs> this is one of those Fab Defense. This is probably one of the best uh, bipods I've ever seen, okay? Uh, it, this thing articulates back and forth. It makes you rotate back and forth. It's spring-loaded, okay? And then I put a uh, kinetic development uh, attachment point here so all I have to do if I want to sit there and put this thing on a, on, a, on the ground is there boom done and like I said it'll go back and forth back and forth this way so it you can go anywhere you want and there 
So I think we got our bases covered on what we need with this bad boy. Uh, probably a little bit too much, but it is fun look to look at, especially with that uh, 18 milliwatt laser on there. It's KB32. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and have already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform. 24-7 for our freedom because freedom goes out to 700 yards, and we need to be able to engage targets because I don't want them any closer than that. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom. <laughs>